Starfield vs. Fallout 4 Physics and Details Comparison. This is gonna be not even funny. Water. We're starting off at Starfield. Okay. Okay, it's pretty meh, honestly. Grenades. Okay. The grenade exploding animation itself is kinda okay, I would say. But obviously there's zero interaction with water. Yeah, literally zero interaction. Another grenade. Okay. It, it, it leaves a trail of fire on water. I guess that's the joke here. Well, that was pretty un underwhelming. Let's let's be real. And I know, I know, Starfield fans are already probably coping and saying in the comments, but Starfield has no water, so it doesn't matter. Yes, Starfield has no water. That's not a good thing, by the way. You're literally, you're literally being happy that things have been taken from the game because you know, you, you know what's funny? Water is like. A lot out there in space. There's a lot of water out there in space. An abundance of it, in fact. And the fact that Starfield doesn't have any of that, kinda lame. I forgot that this is how grenades look in water, bruh. You can also get this effect, by the way, if you if you have a gun with the explosive ammo perk. E every every uh, hit in water is gonna look like that. Man, I forgot about this one. Wow, Molotov. Um, it doesn't explode. I didn't. I I never knew this. Wow, I actually never knew this. Okay, so that's pretty impressive. Also, yeah, it's kind of fair to say that Fallout obviously wins in water. Starfield doesn't have a lot of it, but again, where it does have it, there's no animations. You can't even swim under the water. So Fallout, obvious winner. And Fallout 4 is how many years old at this point? Also, like, 10 years old as Skyrim? Skyrim's 12 years old. Oh, it did explode. Jump from a high into the water. Oh no, we have seen this. Okay. Boop. Nice. Wait, is this gonna be just a water splash? Okay, there was a splash, and you're in water. I guess the Fallout one is not honestly impressive, but you are in first first person. Then again, that also kind of justifies Starfield not even having a splash. But in Starfield, you can't go underwater, so that's kind of really bad. Also, I'm not gonna lie, Fallout 4 actually looks better graphics than Starfield. Bruh. Reactions to gunfire. Bruh, she's spaced out so much, she doesn't care about your gunfire. She's telling you, do it! Do it! Put it to my head and pull it! Oh no. This guy's like, well, are you gonna blow her brains out? Like, uh, am I gonna wait here for long? Bro, she does not care. Also, I would like to remind everyone that the Starfield fanboy, the Bethesda fanboy response to this situation with the faces is, Well, you don't have to look at NPCs! Which is the stupidest response ever.
Lock picking. Okay. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. Honestly, um, Starfield kind of wins out. This is super simple and everyone's used to it, but it's it's boring. And when the bobby pin breaks, because it's gonna break at some point, it gets stupid. Also, bobby pins never matter, because you're always gonna have more bobby pins than anything in the world. So, you know, the, the old lockpicking system, in my opinion, is kind of worse. But in Starfield, you have the problem of, well... The fact that lockpicking is literally gated behind a perk, and if you don't pick that perk early in your in your playthrough, well, you might as well not pick it, that perk at all, because you're never unlocking anything anymore. Which is great. It's such a hustle. 90% of Starfield is locked by some kind of arbitrary, dumb, stupid uh, perk. What a time to be alive. Okay. Nothing. Nothing but fancier. The sound's pretty good though, I like it. Okay, followed. Wait, does no the game does uh, count that as glass, so you could you could hear glass breaking sounds. Okay, so, you know, I, I can already hear Starfield fans saying, but that's bulletproof glass! Well, if it's bulletproof glass and it's so effective that it doesn't even leave a mark, why is armor not made of bulletproof glass in that case? Yeah. Explosion. Well, it's just gonna be grenades again, right? Okay. It's, like it never was there. it's pretty good, though. It's pretty good. The explosion's pretty good on a basic level. There's a ring. Admittedly, I do like the Fallout sound a lot more. The poof is so much cooler, in my opinion. But it looks worse. I have to give it to Starfield on the explosion part. That's pretty okay. It's pretty okay. I don't know. It's pretty much the same engine. Like, let's be honest. This, these games are made in... Like, Starfield is made in an engine that was made 20 years ago. And, by the way, just fun fact that someone told me. It appears that Elder Scrolls 6 is gonna be made on the same engine as Starfield and No Man's Sky. I'm not sure if Fallout 4 is made on the same engine. It's probably made on the same engine. But the fact that the uh, Fallout 4 just has so much more detail than Starfield is insane. Reroll, reload animation, I can already tell you, is not gonna matter at all, probably, because the reality is Starfield's either gonna win on that, because they put a lot of time into, you know, crafting a lot of small details into the guns, okay? Starfield's one of the Starfield's biggest weaknesses is, is the fact that the game is absolutely overstocked with like small details. It's like the World of Warcraft problem. Yeah, the World of Warcraft current maps look beautiful technically, but they seem just so unrealistic and full of shit. You can't even take two steps without there being a fence, a lamppost, or something like that. And Starfield has the same problem. It's, it's like 100% oh, of the universe's population is men and we just leave everything uh, everything where we want it to be. And then, then there's just a bunch of small stuff everywhere around us. You know, it's like women don't even exist. And I, I hate it. I absolutely, by the way, hate it. There's just too much garbage in this game everywhere. Small detail within too much, it just turns into garbage. So, they reload animations... Starfield's probably gonna win. 
No, it depends on what he actually shows, I guess, right? That is literally a Fallout 4 weapon, by the way. That just looks sad and bad because you can see the bullets go like this for some stupid reason. The revolver is probably the best looking weapon in Fallout 4, yet it is the, it is the shittiest one to use, I'm not gonna lie. It's good, but Starfield does have the edge because they a that's probably like one of the two things that, you know, people actually tried and make, uh, make uh, good in uh, Starfield. The guns. And that's better than you know anything that Starfield has to offer in shotguns. For you to see top of the glass. Infinity is huge. Like staggeringly <laughs> huge. Already so. Do we? Yeah, look at this desk. There's like 50 things on it just for the sake of 50 things being on it. You know, Starfield things. That's cool, though, I guess, if we ignore the fact that it doesn't move. Yeah, you can. Obviously. <laughs> At least it's funny. I mean, I honestly hate how both look. Molotov's just so... I don't like Molotov's in Fallout 4. And I don't like incendiary grenades in uh, Starfield. I'm not gonna lie. Well, that was pretty interesting. Admittedly, you know, meh. But it's it's funny that Fallout 4 technically actually wins in a bunch of these categories over Starfield. But there's this crowned current jewel, which is hilarious. But, you know, it is what it is. But there's the fanboys are always gonna fanboy about literally anything, so it's fine. Anyway, this was Quizzer Sensei. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already, and have a nice day. Bye bye.